Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. We are back here playing Byzantium on Europe and Universalis 4. Now, uh, there's been a little bit of controversy over whether this save file, or any of my save files, will work once the patch 1.2 comes out tomorrow. I freaking hope they do, because I don't think we're going to be able to finish this LP tonight. I gotta go to bed soon. <laughs> it's 9 p.m. But uh, I hope they do work. Anyway, we are integrating Nodge, right? Yeah, we're integrating Nodge. Oh, hold on. We're integrating, we're integrating Nodge. We've got 7% on them. We're going to get closer on Car Coinlu. we got a long way to go, but we can get there. Um, yeah. We're going to look at possible future targets. Oh, God. Shut up, Skype. We're going to look at possible future targets over here. Once we annex Baluchistan, we're going to start going for Sin, Veroda. Actually, we can probably go for these guys earlier than that. Oh, my God, Skype. Uh, because it was pointed out to me that we could go for presence in India. And if we go for presence in India, then we don't even have to worry about any of this shit. We can just start taking shit right now. We can even sell some of it. Like, if we take a few of these, I assume that's part of the presence in India, right? Let's just go ahead and click it and find out what comes. Uh, yeah, Sind is in there. So we get claims on all... Oh, yeah, right there. There we go. Uh, we can't take it because they're capital, but still, the idea is solid, right? We come down here, we take some stuff. Uh, like if we take Ceylon and then release them and then give them a whole bunch of land, we could have a Ceylonese vassal just controlling all this shit. Although they are Buddhist, that's the wrong religion. We'll probably go for a Hindu guy. <laughs> just so he'll be more likely to take all this shit. But yeah, why don't we do that then? We have claims for 25 years now down here. That sounds fun. And uh, your allies are the Oirat Horde and Awesome. That's pretty weak. Um... We probably just declare a few wars at a time, right? If we declare war on Sin, that means we can just access right through the land without having to, um, uh, without having to what? Get access rights. But for now, let's just fast forward for a bit so we can uh, get relations up with Kara Coinlu. Actually, relations with Kara Coinlu are going to take a long time. Why don't we just go invade now? What's our revolt risk like? Hmm. Let's take a quick look. Revolt. Not bad. So if we keep these 15 guys here, they'll be fine. Put them on Hunt Rebels over there. And uh, the, you guys can come back. Let's go over here. Let's go have fun. Let's go invade Sind. Hunt Rebels. You know what? We'll leave you there. You can Hunt Rebels. Actually, no. We'll leave the guy in Constantinople. You can come here. Let's go party in Sind. And you guys... Um, okay, fine. You can keep hunting Rebels. We won't need a billion troops over here. But let's go ahead and declare war on this idiot. Oh, we have three guys. We're busy. We're busy improving relations. Right. That is a problem. We don't have many diplomats. And we've already built our embassy, haven't we? Shit. We need diplomats. What, what's our idea? No, no diplomats in there. Um, wow. We need a diplomat. We either need espionage, diplomatic, or aristocratic. <laughs> we need diplomats. We'll just fast forward for now. We'll get our troops over that way. And uh, make sure Hungry Guns are in positive relations. So in case we die, we won't lose that. Yeah, we're 52 years old. Please don't die. <laughs> Please don't die. Uh, but you know what? We, I guess we can just do that real quick. Let's just get get out of Car Coinlu real quick. And as soon as he comes home, we can declare the war and then go back to improving relations. Statesman for the win. Okay, now you guys are hunting rebels, right? Um, I guess you're fine doing it from there. Yeah, that's fine. We'll have one in Constantinople, one over here, and one in Tunisia. Right? Right? Yep, it's good. Alright, we're home. Declare war. He's allied with a whole bunch of people that we don't care about. So we'll just go for... We can't take Lower Sin. It's the capital. But we can do take Kutch. So let's do that. Oh. Declaring war means you get a revolt. Not that we care. It's not going to be a very large revolt, is it? Nope. It's eight dudes. Not a big deal. So who's going to join the war? Awesome. Oirat Horde did not join. That's right. He broke his alliance. And then we can declare war on Maharathas over here. That's fine. And then we can declare war on Mysore. 
and Orissa. We'll just declare a bunch of wars, and then we'll go back to improving relations. Uh, we don't need patriarchal authority. We got tons of manpower. Thank you very much. How's our exhaustion? It's fine. It's fine. Okay. We're about to arrive. Where's our generals? You are... You don't need to be there. I don't know what you're doing. Go back. I don't care what you're doing. Go back. You can actually split in half. And you can come down here. We'll have some rebel hunting from Mocha. It'll be epic. Where's our other general? Yeah, you don't need him either, bro. I'll give him to this guy. Yeah. So we got two stacks of 30 coming down. That's great. Oh, look. There's an army right there. Fantastic. Okay, and we have Cosbelli and Kandesh as well. But their ally is Mothras. I think I'd rather go to war with Mothras. Uh, let's see. Which one do we want to go for? We'll go for North Konkan. Fine. <laughs> Sounds good. And we'll just go straight down there. Because... Oh, we have to declare war on him, too, so we can actually walk through his land. Fine. <laughs> Come down here, then. Go to that war target. Let's go seed it down. Make sure we get some, uh, some uh, war score ticking in our favor down there. Yeah, this is going to be part of our great eastern expansion. I cannot wait. Koring Nuba. Move on to Fuzguli. That's the last province... Over here, everything else is wasteland. Yep. Down here as well, there's nothing else to do until we get down here through Swahili. Oh, that's one of the other big changes. They are removing the National Bank of Swahili, and they're removing the National Bank of America as well, and the Bank of Mali. They're all going to be gone. They're going to make it so the um, Sub-Saharans, or the less advanced nations, instead of just sitting on mountains of gold, they'll spend it on, like, a big military. Which is fine, I guess, but going to change our mechanic for sure. And you know my opinion when we change our mechanic. It makes me very unhappy. Very unhappy. Okay, you just go ahead and hunt rebels down there. should have fun. Uh, you're going to go home, probably. I hope. Converted someone? Anything else need converting? I don't think so. No, everything's converting. It's all good. Anything that's not converting is coring. Just assault that. Or fail entirely and lose the whole army. Great, that works too. That's a great way to just burn our war exhaustion up to the, up to the max. That was bad. Whatever, just declare another war. You're allied with nobody. Sounds good. And now we can just walk through all this shit, right? Oh, you didn't join the war. Okay, well, whatever. Um, we can't even take that. Oh, yeah, we can. It's his only territory. Of course we can take it. Here. Drop a siege and go to Baroda. Converted Herrera. Nice. So he's chasing my ally up here. He killed my ally's army. Let's go destroy him. Put him on fast march. Good luck, sir. We're going to fight the mountains, and it don't matter. Yep. He's going to die. He's running to Malwa. Well, that's cute. It's a long way to go, but with forced march, I'll get there first. It just don't matter. Oh, we can blockade him down here, right? We have boats. I got boats. Um, little three boat. That'll do. Nah. You just go back to Auden. We'll use our 15 stack of boats. That'll help the siege a little bit. Yeah, it didn't take off. Oh, I can't turn off forced march. I hate that bug. You gotta turn it on and off somewhere else, and then you can turn it off. So weird. Alright, and then he should land on us in about a week. I think. Yeah, there he is. Hello. Dead army? Yeah, your army is gonna die. Hi. Now he's gonna rebuild, but my vassals are invading, so that's fine. Now he's gonna clear another war. For Surat, that's fine. And let's just go straight to the war target. Actually, we'll go to Garj Gujarat, and you guys can go back and regroup with that stack. Very sad stack. How are we on overextension? Everything's coring. Good. Mm 
Not even gonna think about a siege button right there. Yeah, just stay like that, it's fine. <laughs> stay like that, it's fine. Okay, move on. Oh yeah, we'll just wait on the peace deal. Force marching anymore, are we? No, we turned it off. Good. And, uh, how are we doing here? It's gonna finish in June of next year, and November of this year, December of this year. Yeah, these are gonna finish nice and early. This is the big one, though, and that's gonna finish December. Nice. What? Where the fuck is this? Rebel successful. Well, why are you not doing anything about them? You stupid hunt rebels piece of shit. I told you to... How can you fail at hunting rebels? There's like nothing over there. Here, drop a siege and go kill a stack and then come back. Okay, Cooch has fallen. Let's come on down here to that war target. We're just going to go one province at a time. Let's declare war on these idiots. They're allied with pretty much nobody. Now, what do we want out of this? We'll go for... Madurai. Whatever. And Mocha has cores. So our overextension is now down to 50%. Nice. And there's still a little more that's going to tick away as well. Beautiful. Now I'm hoping Baluchistan will buy some of this stuff, right? Like if they'll take that, then we won't have to worry about it. It's only, no, they won't take it though. It's a base one. Damn. <laughs> it's too poor. We can probably release someone there though. Yeah, we can release Cathawar. Then we can sell Cathawar um, this province. That'll work. Or we can just release Gujarat and sell them. No, they won't take it. We'll release the um, the one base tax. That's what we'll do. Wow, North Konkan fell quickly. Go to the war target. Kill the army on the way. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Surat has fallen. Go to the capital. I guess we could just vassalize one of these clowns. We are getting rid of vassals, right? I don't know. It doesn't matter that much to me. Someone died. Oh man. National tax. We'll take some national tax bonus. Why not? We get a lot of tax. Wow. 70 ducats from tax. We're not even patrolling much of our trade. We're still making a lot of money off trade. Well, a little bit of money off trade. So that's our war right now. It's pretty much everything. Except Arissa, Which means we need to go to war with Arissa. I will not suffer someone not being at war with me. That doesn't make any sense at all. Um, we'll go for Bengal Delta. Why not? I would assume rebel hunting would be working properly, but it's not. It's doing whatever it wants to do. Delhi's independent. Good for you, Delhi. Aren't you just special? And Sind is collapsing under my vassals. Good. Will you just take that back? You're gonna fail, aren't you? Yeah. There's like nobody there, but they're still failing. Ooh, do I want admin points or tradition? We'll take the admin points. Why you gotta lose prestige though? Seriously. 
and we force their navy out. So that's it for their navy. We're rolling zeros. That doesn't help. But we're gonna win. Good. And come this way. Capital's about to fall down here. Okay, our diplomat is home. Oh, that's fine. How are we in Hungary? Pretty good. Hungary is getting there. I approve. Hungary's actually down here helping me out. That's awesome. Go, Hungary. Okay, we got Kandesh. Let's move on to Bengal Delta. It's kind of nice being at war with everything. You can just go wherever you want. It's not like they're really threatening us. <gasps> Our navy died. No. Oh, it makes me so sad. We'll have to build some more trade ships. Whatever. <laughs> We arrived in Bengal Delta. It's a base two fort. That's fine. Base two. It's not base two. I uh, could do some military. Yeah, more shock. Sure, whatever. Oh, more revolts. More base tax too. All right, why don't we peace out Sin? Eh? They're pretty much toast. Okay, so we have claims on the coastal provinces, right? Let me sort it by this. Yeah, so that'll cost us like almost nothing for 24 overextension. That's fine. Give me all your dollars. Give me your trade power. Uh, don't bother with your cores because they don't matter. Uh, you could spit out a nation. It would just be one province. Wow, Jangladesh would be huge. Wow. Jai Summer, Marwar. I just don't want to be guaranteeing all this shit, you know? I think it's easier if we just leave them intact. We'll just leave them intact. Take all their money. Uh, keep all your crappy treaties. Uh, that's fine. Alright, we got two provinces down here. And that means we can do our Indian Trade Company. Yes, gain 200 ducats. Gain a permanent extra merchant. And global trade power plus 5%. I approve. Can't claim a province Marwar. No, I'm not going to worry about Marwar. But our overextension is fine, and it is dropping. Good. Boats are going to heal up over there. Peaced out Sind. That's fine. Uh, we should probably peace out just a lot of this shit, right? Wow. Bengal Delta fell already. Go to the capital. We're not going to take everything. We're just going to go for whatever we want. we have claims on the entire coastline, so we can take anything on the coast. Just gotta wait for our diplomats to come home, which could be a while, right? Alright, are you... are you still hunting? He is hunting. Okay, good. He's not a complete moron. He's dumb. He's derpy. Okay, you're not hunting for some reason. And uh, you are. Okay. As long as your guys are hunting, it'll be fine. I don't know how that one revolt succeeded. It's like, it's like I don't know how to hunt anymore. I have forgotten. Uh, Arissa wants peace. You want to give me Bengal Delta? No. I want Bengal Delta, you idiot. Step one. Declare war for Bengal Delta. Step two. Conquer Bengal Delta. Step three. Receive a peace offer that does not include Bengal Delta. It's like, what? Oh, France is in the coalition against us. God damn it, France. I am going to have to spend a lot of time getting happy happy with France just so they'll leave us alone you would think conquering stuff over here would not bother France but apparently it does for so for whatever reason all right go to the capital all right diplomat is home let's just annex you uh yeah goodbye Overextension is bad, but we should be piecing out everybody real soon here. Get out of Hungary. We'll just use the extra diplomat to get the extra peace deal, right? Okay, the capital fell. He should want peace now. I would think. One down here. Alright, you want peace, right? Yep. 
Okay, give me some money. I like money. And you can't really do anything else. Keep your crappy allies. I don't care. Uh, you can keep all your cores, too. I don't care. And one last peace deal. And then we'll be done. Let me just release somebody and give them... We'll sell them all this shit, right? We need two more peace deals. No, three more peace deals. What am I talking about? <laughs> three more peace deals. Okay. Oh, who is this? Uh, Mysore. You want to give me... Nope. Mothras. Mothras is this. I only want that one. Give me that one. Damn it, you want to concede defeat, you little shitfucker. If you're not going to give me what I want, then we're not going to get peace, okay? Alright, you I can peace out, because I know you'll give me... Oh, I can even annex you. I could just vassalize him and then sell him some shit. What's your religion, Kandesh? You are Hindu. Okay, that's perfect. We'll just we'll we'll do Kandesh. They're gonna be our vassal. We'll sell them the expensive stuff, Gujarat and Rajkot. They can convert them for us. I'm not sure if they'll take Bengal Delta. It might be a different culture group. Uh, but it is the right religion. And it might be close enough to core. We'll find out. You're gonna be my bitch. You're gonna give me like you can give me some trade power too. And a couple dollars. I like dollars. Alright, we now have a new vassal. Yay, vassal. But that's going to be useful, because we can just feed them stuff, right? Self-staining colony, very nice. Core that. And I got nothing for you to do. Go help out over there. This will be a new rebel hunting stack of 16. Something like that. But we are out of time for today, so thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time, where we will hopefully be more awesomer than we are right now. So, see you then. Have a good day.